Welcome to another episode of Mobile Schools Podcast. Remember, don't like, don't subscribe. Nobody cares. Today, I want to talk about CEO payment. So it was just revealed that the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, made just over $6.5 billion. It's not in cash. It's not a salary. So it's stock, share prices, all those things. They put them together based on what the company has done. So it was, it came to our attention, like for the past five years, of course, there's been CEOs who've been making close to half a billion every year. And all that is based on how much money they made the company. So 265 million from Tim Cook. And there's another list that I'll just put up and you can check out those names. But I wanted to talk about the fact that people are complaining like there are no black people, there are no women. And I feel like certain things do not need diversity. Now let's look at Elon Musk. What has he done with Tesla? Whatever you think about him, whether you like the fact that he's just a billionaire who's wasting money going to space, whether you think he shouldn't have bought Solar City for the amount that he paid, that's not the topic for today. The topic for today is, is it acceptable for a CEO, one person, to be given that much money? I think if I put my money into a stock and I ask somebody, hey, here's 100 euros or 100 dollars or 100 rands, and they manage to make my 100 rand 200 in the space of a year, and all they need to make sure they keep growing that is like 20 rand from my money, that's not something that I would look past. But this brings me to the topic of that we live in a co you know, society and communities that are starting to complain about even things that we shouldn't complain about. Yes, we can talk about white privilege, these white CEOs have, but we're not talking about that. Today we're talking about how do we as black people get to that point where we start companies that are so powerful, that are so profitable, that we can get paid that much money and start doing other things like going to space. And we are not doing enough. Big up to Rihanna for becoming a billionaire. It's not cash, it's not liquid cash, but it's the same with Elon Musk. It's just shares. It's all about the value of your asset, which is fainty. Uh, drop some male things there, like underwear, so we can support you more as well. And for makeup stuff, maybe you can give us like lip stuff for dudes. Because a black woman leading such a powerful um, company is not something we should look over and if you want to get to that point of people like elon musk we need to support people like you uh rihanna and other people like jay-z and everybody i'm still disappointed we didn't support jay-z enough with tidal but he tried to show us that hey we can own these things but instead we went for spotify and apple music and we just said no to jay-z there's something about us that's very wrong in terms of mindset uh Yes, on the issue of women, your know, Mobisel, don't forget my proposal about the tour in townships and esports. Uh, when it comes to women, we have a lot of women who are not given opportunities. Women are not taken as seriously when they walk into boardrooms as men. We also have mediocre men who are making billions, and nobody ever talks about that, but they will talk about how women just want things given to them, even the smartest women. But with that said, I would like to say we need to come up with ideas. And when I say we, even you white men out there who feel like, ah, now they're making it as if I have six billion when they talk about white male privilege. We need to come up with ideas that solve people's problems and that people support. You've seen Elon Musk stands. You've seen Apple stands. Those people go crazy because those companies, Apple and Tesla, they create products that people love and want to buy and support. And they buy their shares. Not only do they buy the products, they also buy shares. When you buy shares, you're putting money into the pocket of these companies to invest in opportunities that will make the company grow, also your investment to grow. So let's start thinking on those level of electric cars when it comes to apple of course they working they might be working on an on a car but i don't think that's something that's going to happen in the next five years in africa let's not even talk about electric cars 
that's the we we love talking about it and get attention from it i've seen a few people talk about electric cars in africa but we don't even have electricity electric car electricity powered car emphasis on electricity ah how how when our power suppliers in our countries keep switching off the electricity whenever they want because they cannot give us the amount of electricity that we need so everybody in the world don't be a hater don't hate man that, that's, that shit is not cute it's not cute it's not cool also it it messes up innovation people are now not gonna go out there and push ideas because they're gonna say oh my god if i get this you're gonna say oh you able to make this much money and succeed in your business because you are straight white male oh you are succeeding because you are you've been done a favor because they need to diversify you are a woman and black man you're not smart enough to have this but we get it like the whole world is saying diversification inclusivity all that nonsense but it's not nonsense actually it's good but we need to come up with such great ideas that by the time people start talking about what we represent we honestly don't even care because our products and our services speak for themselves with that said i just want to say thank you very much for tuning in by saying thank you i'm talking to you me who's the only person who watches these videos and let's try to be innovative we all know the problems that we're facing in africa we're facing issues of electricity come up with ideas like how do we not become leaders of alternative energy in africa when we know that coal and all the other options are not working we should be coming up with ideas everybody's talking about renewable energy let's come up with ideas people are willing to put money into renewable energy wherever you are whatever problem you can identify if it will solve the problem that everybody agrees that is a problem you are halfway there so let's stop hating on people that are doing amazing things when they get rewarded and compensated by the people who support them they're not oh don't even get me started on like oh how much tax is he gonna pay on that none of your fucking business bro think think spend a day spend two hours spend 20 minutes spend five minutes thinking what is wrong with my surrounding and how i how can i fix it that's where it starts electric cars have been around we did an episode about the jewel in south africa that didn't go anywhere of course there was no government support which is another problem we have to talk about but luckily we live in a world where now individuals have money there's vcs there's angel investors of course we don't have as many in third world countries but we cannot keep begging and complaining we need to start trying to get our products and services out there especially if we believe that they will change the world if you believe they will change the world and you work hard enough trust me there's somebody with money who will come and say i believe in that idea go ahead here's money i mean i'm not proof of that because i've got brilliant ideas and i don't have a cent but it is what it is i'll never hate on billionaires never dollar billionaires are never with that said Abuela. Oh,